Dawuti ole. Haleluya, Lucina, Lady of Pina, the Matuni Tima. Boy, now have sat in a head sham look, and not less at head sham look, but a heavy amount of my way to it too. But the king of his shoe or Masana Mindo, people, not the form of people who forget me. I can shed the patty and get a pound to come from there. He Napan Pina, I took Sadikawa, had the nail on him. ตะมายินตะสาวะดำนาอีเปวะกะทะกาวะอาดิงานะทูนะลาเอจอมอ้ายสุขตุดิงุนชิลบังกิมากะมาวีปุยะกะกิฮอปุอบุลาปะตะโ
that time I prayed, Lord, in my in my heart, I pray, Lord, I am here. Your humble servant is here. May you warm upon me and I rest my life upon you. And it was at that night, I was uh, thinking, uh, how would I be able to please my God? How I would I be able to serve Him? Though I was uh, addicted to phone and have many worldly conversations, as you know that, uh, oh, for permission, I am a new aspirant. I was uh, hoping to go for medical colleges, but God had different plans. And, and that was at that time, I was uh, still, before I was sleeping, I, I, I was praying, Lord, how would I be able to give up my worldly possessions or what I want? What, I know that my calling has come, but how will I be able? But this is what is spoken that uh, you cannot for your, from your own work, but through God, everything is possible. So at that time, uh, while I was uh, sleeping, I encountered an evil spirit. Uh, uh, while I was sleeping, I, I enchanted the word involuntarily. It doesn't mean that I, I was the one chanting that. Involuntarily, I said uh, a word came out from this like blue wheel. Uh, and then everything uh, ceased. My my ears are ringing like a drum beating. And my whole body from head to the bottom, I was paralyzed. I couldn't uh, stop, move, or trying to speak. So that was when I realized that uh, there was a shady figure in my room. My lights were turned on in my bedroom, but I couldn't, I couldn't uh, speak or try to call out for help. Uh, then it came upon me that uh, I, I cast, uh, I, 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 I prayed within myself. I said, my Lord is good, my Lord is good. He is with me. And then that's when the hope, I see that shady people trying to approach me. And before I do, I I, did, I speak with, uh, by the grace of God, the courage I speak. I, I, I tell to that shady figure, I pity you because my Lord is with me. And everything vanished instantly. And I could see uh, the, my room, I could see again the light. So uh, before that it was dark, I could see again. And then I quickly get up and told my mother everything about that. And she said that uh, so, uh, when you try to serve God, those temptations will come. And that uh, it has been uh, seen that my game addiction has been answered and that I should uh, cast them away. That's when I went back to my room. I instantly deleted all my games and all my social media accounts. So that's how my testimony came to be. And I remember giving this testimony and uh, Donna. Though uh, at that time I was giving in our dialect, so it wasn't that hard for me. So I hope you can understand. I'm uh, trying to give my uh, how to make you uh, understand what I'm giving my testimony, but. Uh, since English is not my first language, it's a little bit difficult, unprepared. So, everything uh, I'm giving now uh, may you uh, understand or bear with me. Thank you. And um, before I try to apply for API. And in the ADR, they are, I got uh, information that uh, they, are, they are giving the visual language, the lecture. So that's how uh, then I tried for uh, ATSI in Delhi, which uh, will be conducted in this lecture. Um, by God's grace, I remember uh, on last Saturday, I was uh, praying on our church service. Lord, give me a sign. If this is your will, then I shall go. But give me a sign so I may continue. To I, as Jesus, when he was 30, he started uh, preaching and going, uh, forgiving uh, of his, uh, to preach. So I thought that it is my calling, but when, my, when will my time be? So I, I was praying, Lord, just give me one sign. 
so that we know, so so that I wouldn't uh, continue my preparation in need. So God finally answered my prayer. And on Sunday morning, I got a call that I finally got a seat in ATSI. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you, uh, our <coughs> pastor and brother, for this uh, opportunity. Everything I thank you uh, for bearing me in this name. Amen. Amen. not dwell in our past anymore. We have to forget our, our past. Because God has given us a new way and He will pay our way if we trust Him and if we believe in Him. That's what Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 and And as we have to, we have taken the courage and I, I believe each and every one of us too we have learned something from the life, from the experience of our brother. How great our God is if we are faithful and if we are Together in us, you give our life to him. He will even shape our life and he will give us a new way that we should move. Move into. Thank you, brother. May the good Lord continue to bless you abundantly and may you continue to be a channel of blessing to your people as well as to your family members. Uh, now we shall have a time of mass broken prayer. I would like to encourage, uh, like to give this time to our principal to give a prayer. Okay, hallelujah. Let us remember and pray for our students because I've been praying to God for the last uh, several months back, Lord, to send the right people. And after hearing that uh, testimony from Brother uh, Freddy, I am uh, very much touched because uh, God has fully answers our prayer. And uh, because we can just pray for the students, God will give you a lot. But the thing is that we really want those uh, students who have had the calling of God. Amen. Who have uh, the real call of God and who have been in a real attempt by the Holy Spirit and we want them to come here so that uh, in the future our graduates can go on and serve the Lord in this uh, vineyard in this God's kingdom. So that's really why I thank God. I'm so motivated after hearing the testimony. May God be blessed. Uh, brother Freddy and his family and I'm sure that one day maybe after a three or four years from now hopefully that he'll become the the pastor and the minister for the entire state of uh, Meghalaya and uh, I think the people of the Meghalaya really need you your community really needs you because we don't have anybody who can uh, you know speak in your language and do a better you know a ministry than uh, a person from that uh, particular community I think God has raised you up and God has uh, Special call for the important. We're so thankful. Let us continue to uphold in our prayer, as I said, uh, <clears throat> so that God will send the right people and for our teachers at the same time and for our students. Let's uphold uh, in our prayer one more time so that God will continue to bless our students uh, and that God will bless even our, our faculty members and our staff members here. We have few in numbers, we don't have any sponsorship. We are just relying on God's. Uh, Provision. It is a ministry uh, run by faith only. So let's uphold it. I pray one more time. Let's pray for our Bible schools and for the students. Well, I mean, I Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
And give them that wisdom and knowledge, Father. Open the understanding, Lord. And the same even in this today in our service. May you be the one who speaks to us, Lord. May you be the one who delivers the message, Father. Open our understanding and bless it to every one of us, dear Father. May your name be exalted and glorified this place of you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Now there will be a special number presented by our sister Dekia and King Boy. Just come and take your time. Yes, I need this time to 
was good. Maybe most of the congregation they don't like this. They are not speaking now. How was the song? They did not up to your expectations, right? Yeah. <laughs> How was good? I asked for the last last time, right? He nice, nicely, and then you have to answer me. Yeah. <laughs> How was their song? Good. Yeah, we are being blessed by their song. Even if we are not that much in number, but we have we have good qualities of singers in our midst, right? And then we are blessed that we have our our sisters that who are who have enriched our heart through your through your song. May the good Lord bless you abundantly. Allow this time to hear the words of God for our principal, our shall and our detective. This is a principal man. Okay, uh, first of all, let us dedicate it, uh, dedicate all this uh, some the, uh, the tribes which come in from Queen and Boy uh, and family and we have some uh, uh, our handful of rice uh, who has been collected every Sunday has been brought by our uh, church ladies let's dedicate that too so that even this handful of rice is here uh, can be collected in such a way that in days to come it can uh, truly serve God's purpose and can really enhance uh, the kingdom of God so it's a true day and it's a end of the day it's a full day and 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 it's a full day the ministry of the ministry is the same as the ministry. It's a handful of rice, it's a bowl of the ministry. 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 Hallelujah. It's a bowl of the ministry. It's a bowl of the ministry. It's a bowl of the ministry. Let us pray. Oh, Abraham, the Lord is the Lord. Who is the Lord? 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 Nampak orang sedih happy ni kalau itu zala. Nasib orang zapa ke orang. Adi ada mood yang pakai. Ilham dia orang sing sing pakai ni dah tangguh. Mayu mazum tu asal hal so mayu zaman pandir ni kan. Nampi pun buat mazum ni. Nak kau ini pakai kan tanya deh. Sila turia sama apa yang kamu ni yang leh belum zom. Nampi pakai lupa. Ayo semua orang kesal doa pisi na. Lumbon ke pada. Dah nak pakai ni kan. Bola sunah pisang hati asal malam azam tua sah zor aizoa bahkan lazim tidak dengan iman sok dingin nazar di superstar minin kan hati. Okay, Hallelujah. Ayat now time to go to the word of God. Before we go, I want to extend my thank you to my two sisters. I think without any rehearsal, I think they have never rehearsed. I've never seen them doing that. But uh, whenever they come here and begin presenting the God's, uh, you know, gospel number, I think uh, I think they are one of the favorite. Uh, I think youths, uh, you know, uh, these uh, singers. I think I would say doing an amazing. The only thing is that we don't have a proper uh, musical instrument. Let's pray for that. Uh, soon that we will be able to attach uh, in all these in these four corners, maybe the other sides. We can get the sound system in a proper way, so we can have a proper. Uh, uh, some systems uh, can be installed as soon as possible. We need to pray for that as well. Amen. And once we have that, uh, we intend to cover up the back side with sound observers so that our sound will not go out and their sound will not come in. Now, these also give a lot of disturbances. Uh, that's the reason why. So, uh, maybe after two, three months from now, we will have this place, our church hall, our central hall, will be like uh, next to the, uh, you know, similar to this, uh, like, uh, musical, uh, you know, recording studio. We need them to do that. So pray for us. Uh, let's remember in our prayer, so that in the days to come, we will have a great our musical instruments. And uh, last Sunday, uh, last week, uh, God has blessed us with a twenty-five thousand the electric guitar has been brought in. So step by step, we're going to, uh, uh, you know, purchase more and more musical instruments. Even our keyboard needs to be uh, replaced. This one is a fifteen thousand, so we intend to buy for thirty-five thousand, at least for thirty-five to forty thousand. That good quality professionals, uh, you know, uh, the keyboard 
And once we have that, things will be improving. And it is our dream and our reason that even our youth will take advantage of this where they can come in be on Saturday or even on Friday whenever they have off time. You know, even holy they can come and practice it, no problem. Hallelujah. So once we start, uh, you know, uh, having all these things, I request that uh, you know our youth especially come in and do the practice on every Saturday. Uh, most welcome to come in and join because we don't have a program in on Saturday right after the morning devotions till 6 p.m. We don't have any program here in this place. So please take advantage of that. Come and use it and practice. Hallelujah. And including. Um, the the electric guitar and uh, even my boy my son can also give you some tips he's not an expert professional uh, in keyboard player but at least to that once uh, i think first level up the first level uh, he can also help you and uh, if some of you is interested that we have no problem even hiring even putting some uh, professional uh, keyboard player to come and teach you so if you're interested let me know okay we'll discuss after uh, this uh, uh, service and uh, we are hoping and praying that next coming months, our family, including the Bible students and the church family, we intend to uh, go out from other place for sightseeing, maybe for two or three days. It would be like an outreach, a kind of a, you know, outing, uh, in a family outing. Uh, so after the service, we'll have some discussion regarding that as well. Okay, thank you so much. <coughs> Hello. Okay, uh, it's been a more than uh, a few months now that I have not given the present special number. This uh, afternoon, I felt that I think I should give one special number, even though we are not a good singer. But still, that uh, to honor the Almighty God, I just want to sing this song. Uh, it's a Mizo song, I, I think most of you can understand, but. Most of us may not be able to understand it, but the reason I like this, uh, the soundtrack, you can say, uh, this, this uh, song is because of the lyrics. Uh, because the lyrics, as they really touched my heart. Because it talks about internally purity, it talks about the having the love of God. It talks about a God who looks into the heart, not your outward appearance. Uh, in these modern days, what we do is that we try to dress up, we try to make ourselves into that extent that we want to please others, or we want people to admire us, including myself. We want people to say, hey, this guy is so handsome. Oh, wow, this lady is so beautiful. Oh my God, gorgeous, something like that. You know? That's what we want, you know, the world to uh, say about us. But many times, if you don't consider about the insides, I think that's Man. more important. Not your outer grids, but the inside is more important. If you truly love God, I think that's more important. Because God seeks after the hearts of men. Not like us. Hallelujah. But we don't look at people's hearts, we look the other appearance. But God looks into the heart. I think that's something we want to uh, remind ourselves with this song. And right after that, we should hear God's message. Uh, we'll be talking about the living word of God. Uh, the song track is from Bumano Silo, and I've said this uh, several times, but from the, this year, for this year, we have not said it even once. That's right, all right, I did not know where I guess. You can have not practice uh, in a rehearsal. That's it.
and he raised again on the third day. Amen. That he died and was buried and rose again. That is the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. But when you just believe in Christ as, as a Lord and Savior, the day when you say, I believe Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, as my Lord God Almighty, you are not in obeying the gospel. The reason is you have not been unified with him in his death, the burial, and the resurrection. Because in order to obey the gospel, one has to be united with Christ in his death, the burial, and the resurrection. Amen. Because unless and until you do that, you have not yet obeyed the gospel. You may you believe the gospel. Yes, you may already believe in Jesus, but you have not yet obeyed the gospel. And when you look into the Bible, from the New Testament, it is clear that the water baptism in Jesus' name Amen. is of the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what exactly the scripture says. And I know that so many Pentecostals, the charismatic evangelists, the revival people, we emphasize the auditorium of the Holy Spirit. Even in the Megalaya, when I was there, I came across, I met some friends who believe in the of the Holy Spirit. That's great. Hallelujah. And God had used them as well with signs and wonders. When they were they prayed in Jesus' name, people received the deliverance, people received instant healing. Even the, those uh, crippled people start living and, you know, jumping, praising God. How I've seen with my own eyes that God does use them. And some of them, they receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But I asked the pastor, Pastor, do you practice the baptism in Jesus' name? He said, no. And I was shocked. Amen. Why? Hallelujah. The reason is if you look at the Bible, the people who believe in the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, who receive the influence of the Holy Spirit, who begin to speak with tongues and glorify God and magnify God, if you look at the Bible, they were not just contained with the influence of the Holy Spirit, they will move on. They will continue to get immersed and receive the baptism in Jesus' name for the purpose of remission of saints. Hallelujah. But now I think the Holy System already changed. If I ask someone what is the purpose of that, they say it's only for declaration. What declaration? Just for a sign. That to give evidence that we are already Christian. Whether you receive baptism or not, it does not really matter. Wow. That's your opinion, my friend. I can have thousands of opinions. My opinion, your opinion does not matter. What matters is what the scripture says that matters. Amen. Amen. When you study from the Exodus 22, verse 16, Ananias came and said to the brother, So what are you waiting? Arise and be baptized. Immerse into the water and wash away your sins. Amen. Which means that before the baptism, in the same name of Jesus Christ, Apostle Paul was not yet saved because he still had his sin. What sin we are talking about? The sin of the Adam was still there. Amen. A lot of people will think that the moment you accept it as Lord and Savior and repent your sin, your sins are was sin, my friend. That is wrong. Amen. Amen. That is a totally amendment conception. It is a total denominational view, not the Bible way. Amen. This is not the Bible way, my friend. And Jesus does not confuse his people, and they will make it very plainly. Amen. He have given that statement here in John 3 5. Very clear. The God was coming said to him, How can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time into mother's womb? And Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man is born of the water and spirit, he can enter the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And we all know, amen, that the water baptism in Jesus' name and the influence of the Holy Spirit, that's what it refers to being born of the water and spirit and has been practiced by the New Testament church from the day one, from the when the church was founded on the day of Pentecost, amen, at Jerusalem. Hallelujah. In order to be born again, in order to receive that new generation, the new birth, including the Jewish people, Amen, and all the people, Hallelujah, from all over the nations, they began to practice, Amen, the water baptism in Jesus' name, the influence of the Holy Spirit was a practice. For what? For why? 
for the purpose of the set of sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In the year 1901, in the state of the United States of America, especially in Indianapolis, at the street of the Azusa Street, and you know, in one small Bible school, the revival just broke out. Hallelujah. It's the school name is the Bethel Bible School. When the church farm, who is a principal like me, he had some students, and with students, they were meditating from the book of Acts. And they came across that the early church received. Amen. They eat through the Holy Spirit. Amen. They don't worship God by the statue standing somewhere. Amen. But they were jumping and dancing before God. And they speak with a new tongue. And signs and wonder occurs when they come across everything. This is why don't we practice this. Amen. In order to receive the kind of experience, that kind of blessing, they start fasting prayer. The prince who gave this order said, unless and until we receive this kind of experience, we will go on for the fast and pray. Amen. So all the students, including the principal himself, was doing a fast and prayer. Nobody was having lunch and dinner. They keep on praying, fasting prayer for the last four or five days. And finally, one of the students by the name called uh, the Agnes, uh, I forgot her name, uh, Esme, I forgot her full name. That sister received the experience. I mean, received the blessings of God. She began to be filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with tongues and prophesy God. And she started magnifying God. Hallelujah. And right after that, from the small Bible school, it had an effect the entire world. And it occurs at somewhere around 1901 through 7. But within the span of 20 years and 10 years, the revival broke out in all over the world. Hallelujah. And that is how from the mainline churches, from the Christian mainline churches, from a, uh, like Baptist, fundamentals, evangelicals, Presbyterian, Catholics, Lutheran, I mean, from different different denominations, people are coming out and being filled with the Holy Ghost and they receive the signs and wonders. Hallelujah. And God delivered them from their sin. God delivered them from their sickness. Amen. And that way, there was total a revival in the whole state of the United States of America. Amen. And that is how these group of people started to act. They would assemble together on Sunday, even in the stadium, even in the uh, in football ground, and even the ground could not contain them. It's because too large. Because every now and then, they would come to that place. First they had a uh, gathering in a public ground, even that cannot contain them. And then they went to the stadium, even that was a total full of it. And finally, the assembly of God came to the existence. The reason is because whenever they start, you know, sing the hymns or you know, uh, worship God, because they started clapping their hands and feeling the Holy Spirit. And those in all the church did not understand this thing. And they started excommunicating them. They said, you can go out from us. Because we don't practice this thing. Please get out. And this is how they came out. Including many pastors, many evangelists came out from mainline churches. And they all come together and form that church called Assembly of God. Hallelujah. And they were known as Pentecostals of charismatic movement. Amen. And then even amongst the assembly of God, the priest, when they have the conference, the next year when they have the conference, sir, certain group of people, they came up, they, when they studied, when they were doing a Bible study in the book of Acts, they came across. They came to this light, and God has said this light unto them. That the New Testament church were not only receiving the influence of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, but they move on and even receive the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the purpose of remission of sins. And when they found that, they said, why are we not practicing that? Then they came and asked the leaders, the reason why we came out from this traditional denominational mainland stream is because they don't practice the New Testament Bible way. Amen. Because we practice only the traditional system. Where you are taught to obey the Greeks, where you are forced to obey the Constitutions and the Bible of the Church, that's it. 
And he said, you cannot be filled with the Holy Ghost. You should not believe in signs and wonders. You should not believe in miracles. And you should not even speak in tongues. They even prohibit speaking in tongues in the church. But these people of God, when they read the New Testament, the book of Acts, when they survey the whole the book of Acts, where people actually become Christians, amen. Let's not forget this. Epistle means letters. Epistle would be addressed to people who are already baptized or already Christian. Amen. Hallelujah. But if you want to see, if you want to know, how does the people become Christians? How do they get converted from non-Christian becoming Christian? Then you better read the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Amen. So in the book of Acts, we can see where the non-Christians are becoming Christians. But many times we use example of Apocalypse, we use example of 1st Corinthian, example of Romans, same on you, because these are already baptized, hallelujah. They only received it the Holy Spirit. These are already Christian, and Paul wrote the letter and praising the local churches there in the church of Corinthian, the church of Rome, the church of Ephesus, and praising them to grow in Christ, hallelujah, and bear the fruits. But many times, We've forgotten that, and sometimes we take example from for uh, for uh, being a newborn. Okay, sometimes we take example from the epistle. We should not do that. But if you want to know how does the early church, the New Testament church, become Christians from being a non-Christians, how do they become Christians? Then we cannot ignore the Book of Acts, because only and only in the Book of Acts you will see practically from all over the nations. From the Jews, from the, the Samaritans, from the Gentiles, from all over the nations, how do they become Christian? If you want to see that, you have to read the Bible. Amen. So now coming back to the story again. So here the people are saying the reason why we came out from the mainline denominational stream is because when we send them to go back, the early church filled with the Holy Ghost. Can anybody deny that? Can anybody dare to deny that the New Testament church speak in tongues? Nobody can deny it. Even Paul himself cannot deny it. Amen. Hallelujah. Nobody can deny that, including the people who forbid speaking in tongues in the churches today. Even they cannot deny it. The only thing what they say is that it sees after 100, <laughs> Where does the scripture say, show me, my friend? Amen. If you don't show me, I'll, 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 I'll make you bold. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! I'll take that scissor and I'll make you ball. Amen. With the with that kind of a machine. No, what is that called? Ah, you have a hairdresser. You know? I'll bone you. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And if I cannot prove you, you bone me. No problem. Make me a Ronaldo. No problem. <laughs> I'm not talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm not talking about Brazil Ronaldo. Brazil Ronaldo. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Bone me. No problem. Hallelujah. If I cannot prove you right, so please vote me. But if I prove you wrong, will you accept my sentence? Will you take a baptism in Jesus' name along with your whole church members? Then many pastors, they just took your Bible and they said, they just run away. Hey, don't go to this way. Amen. I'm not dangerous, man. I am a man of God. Hallelujah. Because I don't want to entertain you with my own ideas and philosophy. I like being preachers. Then the preacher what they want is only entertaining. What of my religion preacher? I call him uh, Yapu because my grandmother is all the don't come. He said during this uh, ethnic classes I went to the, those uh, relief camp and I made them love like anything. Uh, they have forgotten who they are. <laughs> that was a good amen. He puts all the way. I saw the patolai, amen. I bought the sun of the road to put him to the same piece of the soil, amen. Hallelujah. No, he's not a boy, but a boy. I have a two dollar hit down, I say. What I can sell, you have two dollar too, amen. They want to sell, sell, and I'm not told to do the hair, I hate boy, hallelujah. The father in the zoo, so I'm not told to do the hair. Amen. Manza, that's in my book, I said, to us, I hate the way you look at what now. But you can tell to me, you know, i New new hero, new new zero. Nasibuju, nasibuju, hong kilang tia 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 na hiya di. Alam. So you put it to the head. Kagawa, Jesus Christ, kibano. Kaisang lohi nao zo. Asibuju kilang tia tia tao zo. 
मैंने विश्वर बता सकती पिछले ना विश्व को कैसे देखा हम लोग तीन देशी भी की बलवान है You are Lord Jesus Doa kepada Trini Tuhan Lord kita amin haleluya Ini semua amin praise the Lord and their title on it. Some people, they, they don't care about what the scripture says. All they want is their positions and their dignity on them. Amen? Because they want to remain at that high post. They want to be leader forever. So the day when they will speak out the truth, their members will depart from them. The skill that he, or he, he will return to become a zero. Amen. So when I receive the baptism in Jesus' name, literally I become a zero. From hero I became zero. Amen. So when I became zero, God exalted me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today again, globally, if you ask what is called P. Mante, Pastor Mante, if you say I was baptism at the hands of Pastor Mante, everyone know me. Amen. Including all the oldest preachers around the world, they know me. I've never met them, but they heard my name somewhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because God will glorify you. Because I don't stand and I don't entertain people with the many doctrines and philosophy. Whatever I say is based on the Holy Bible, based on the New Testament. And when you turn the Bible, my dear friend, it says in Ephesians 4 5, there is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. It does not say many, 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 many faith. Amen. Which means. It is a very simple, it's easy to understand there must be only one true doctrine. Amen. And everyone claimed that I have a true doctrine. The Seventh-day Adventist says we are the true and New Testament church. Even the Catholics are claiming that we are the true and New Testament church. Very good, very good. Amen. I'm not going to damn anybody. But let us look into the Bible then. Hallelujah. Let us determine from the Holy Scripture who is right and who is wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the Bible speak for us, not we ourselves. Amen. The only way that we can understand who is right and who is wrong is when you obey the Bible. Hallelujah. And therefore, I even in 2007, I have already sent one lot of cases that has been circulated globally. In the thousands and thousands of emails, uh, the Christian denominated churches have received their articles, and their article says, We will give you one billion US dollars if you can prove us from the KJV to the Greek Hebrew Bible, Nagamese Bible, or Kakashi Bible, Garo Bible, no matter which language is Chinese, Japanese, Korean, no problem. Amen. No matter from which, Amen. Hallelujah. Bible, it is no problem. 
No matter from which version, it is no problem. No matter from which language, it is no problem. Even if it is from the Hebrew, Greek, or Latins, African, Chinese, Koreans, Thai, Thai, no problem. Hallelujah. Burmese, no problem. Where the apostles show us, where the disciples and the apostles of Jesus Christ baptized the believer into the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Where they invoke only the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and give baptism to the believers. And if you can show us one Bible reference in the whole New Testament, in the whole Bible, then we are willing to give you one billion US dollar directly credited to your account. Hallelujah. <laughs> when I got that even one dollar was Hallelujah. And my wife said to me, she doesn't understand the meaning. You know, she also becomes some type of you know very physically a uh, person. She said uh, <laughs> People will think that you are very money minded, you know, the business type of people, person. Why are you saying that? I said, I want to wake up the Christians around the world. Hallelujah. I want them to wake up the pastors and the leaders to start searching the Bible. Hallelujah. I want to wake them up from the slumber. Hallelujah. Amen. And then on the, the bottom it's written, for those, amen, who cannot find uh, give the answers. Reward yourself with being baptized in Jesus' name and clothe yourself with Christ and have an eternity. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And if you want to have the life, the three gods cannot save you. The Trinity cannot save you. The three Muti cannot save you. Only Jesus can save you. Amen. Amen. And if only Jesus can save you, why don't you put on him? Hallelujah. This is the only way that we can put on Christ. And the people who are not baptized, don't be offended, my friend, because I love you and I must speak the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. And if I don't speak the truth, I'm a hypocrite. I'm working for my daddy. That's the reality. Hallelujah. Am I right? Amen. A teacher or a Bible scholar or a Bible philosopher or a pastor who does not want to speak the truth unto you, they are not the one who love you. They are the one who really care about their positions and dignity. And they will, they will not share with their truth. Amen? Because they don't want anything else but accept their positions. And the word of God clearly says that these are the people who are not serving God, but they are serving their belly. Hallelujah. <laughs> ปะเทียนทุกท่านที่รู้ครับแล้วครับเอาบอกคนปะเทียนทุเสโลบาอะปุ่นเปียดินาปะเทียนทุเสอยู่อาจีนะฮะปุ่นซุเสียกี่ป
where Jesus said, unless a man is born of the water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Amen. And everyone knows, including all your leaders, including Bible commentary, they all understand that the water, the word water in John 3, 5, actually refers to water baptism. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you, if you look in Acts chapter 8, it does refer to baptism. Because, amen, the eunuch said, the one who came from Ethiopia to worship Jesus Christ, the God of Abraham, Jeremiah, and Isaac, who came, hallelujah, to see the beautiful, the magnificent, the temple of the Lord after when he returned, amen, when she returned, hallelujah. Because eunuch means half man, half woman, isn't it? In Hindi, how do we call, how do you say, how do they say? Eunuch means hijra. <laughs> One time, uh, no, it's rather troubling us, you know, in the bus. And she doesn't say anything. You are so stubborn, stupid lady, and he just left. <laughs> I get that way to this. I think in some time, some of my phone, too, I'm going to come to him, too. He's not okay, though. I'm going to come to him, too. I'm going to come to him, so eunuchs are there even in the uh, in, uh, in the Bible time, right? So eunuch after worshiping came as back, and he was reading from the book of Isaiah from the scroll, amen. And he could not understand what he was reading. And the Spirit of the Lord said to Philip, "Go and sit over the chariots and explain to him, because I have chosen him, this person also. Go and explain to him." And he ran and he jumped up on the chariot and sat with him. And now, do you understand what you're reading? He said, how can I understand except someone explain to me? Amen. And then the scripture said, Philip preached unto him that the author, the writer, was referring to the Lord Jesus Christ and he presented to him about Jesus. And then the eunuch said, Here is water. What can he? Amen. Hinder me to be baptized. And Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, Amen. If you believe with all your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, you can. Hallelujah. And the term Son of God means, my friend, that if Jesus is the Son of God, means if Jesus is God, that manifests in the flesh. Hallelujah. Amen, because the manifestation of God in the flesh is called Son of God. Hallelujah. And as a man, he is a son of man. Hallelujah. So understand these two terms actually indicating the humanity of Jesus Christ. And we know that Jesus is both God and man. And the reason why he became a man was to be our Savior, to set a blood on the Calvary. Hallelujah. Because without second blood, there would be no remissions, and the law would not come to an end. And they were my friends. What happened? Then you would say, I believe that Jesus Christ. And they made the chair to stand still, and they both went down into the water, and Philip baptized him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see that, my friend? Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, my friends, to believe in Jesus, never this uh, sentence. To believe in Jesus means to say, I believe in Jesus, means to say, I believe in the gospel. And the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is a part of the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So if you say, I believe in Jesus, means you are now compelled, you are now supposed to baptize in Jesus' name for the purpose of remission of sin. But our preacher, denominational leaders, they will not say, no, 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 Oh my God. What does the scripture say that to for? They will not come in, and even they will not let others to come in again. You see that? This is what these modern day preachers are doing. This is what the modern day religious teachers, this is what the modern day Christian pastors are doing. The Christian leaders, Christian pastors are doing. They will not let you come in, and they themselves will not come in. They will rock like this. It's, that it's exactly the attitude of the Pharisees. Amen? 
But on the other hand, they said, ah, I lay down my life for Jesus. I love Jesus with my whole life, heart, with all of my being. What a sinless person you are. That you're so reluctant to get baptized in Jesus' name. You have no problem whatsoever to invoke the name Jesus for your personal benefit. Amen. What was said? Amen. For your personal benefit, for your physical healing, for your visa, uh, in order to buy a land of blood in Shalom, you have no problem. Pray even for 10, uh, for 10 hundred, uh, you know, hundred uh, days, you have no problem. You don't have any problem. If your son and daughters would become an eye as police officer, you have no problem invoking Jesus' name for their blessing. Pray all the time. But you have a problem when it comes to baptism. That means something is wrong, my friend. Something is wrong. Who's who's to call a hair? Dar ne who's to call a hair? Amen. Who's ne sara sara dar call a hair? Hallelujah. Sara sara call a hair. Sara sara call a hair. Amen. Something is wrong. Amen. The wrong is this, my friend. You are hypocrites. Whether you like it or not, whether it's me or anybody, I don't care. Amen. You are nothing but hypocrite. Say again, hypocrite. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you are a preacher who does not want to disclose the truth. You don't want others to come in and you yourself do not go in also. Amen. You are blocking everyone. You are becoming like a JCB, blocking everybody. Amen. That's what you do the best. But there are some preachers who are men wearing themselves and we let others who come in. Hallelujah! Stand at the door and say, Come in! Come in! Hallelujah! And because of Freddy and Uncle, today if I saw any, when I get to heaven, if there is someone, fancy people are not getting ready, I will put them in silence. <laughs> My person, I will pull it. Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Because we want others to go in. Amen! We want everybody to go in, in Jesus' name. So that's the reason why it is important, my friend. We understand it. Do you truly, truly love Jesus Christ? Do you truly, truly love Jesus Christ? You say yes. Obey Him. That's it. Amen. Amen. And there was James chapter two, verse nineteen. The God put His arms on the goal. What does it say? All foolish men, all men of all, in my in my language. Don't you know all me hey ho? Hallelujah. 
I don't believe in all in Trinity, I believe in Jesus alone. Amen. Why? Because Trinity is not a Bible, it's a pagan doctrine. Where you like it or not, hallelujah. Amen. You search the original Trinity in the Google, even the Google know what you don't know. Just say origin of Trinity right there. Just like Trinity, you will see, including Hindu, Brahma, Vishnu, Siva, Trimurti, you will come out. Amen. Really? The Zenu professor, religious professor, he told me, you know, brother, we only believe in Trinity. I said, no, 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 no. You are right. But I don't believe in Trinity. We Christians, we simple Bible Christians, Bible believing Christians, we believe in the Bible. And the Bible does not have Trinity. Amen. I remember one time I was, uh, the Lord is sent me to Isol, and the place where I was going to uh, lodge in that family, they don't know which kind of uh, food I eat or which kind of, whether I'm a mom baits or baits, they don't understand. So uh, they brought a whole type of curries, including the fish curry, pork curry, you know, beef curry, and uh, that uh, the house lady, that man was saying, I'm not sure what the weather, brother, mountain, you eat this or that, I don't know, so therefore I put everything, and everything on your plate. I said, man, I don't eat one thing. Chicken, what? What do you don't eat? Pork or chicken or beef? What do you don't eat? I said, Trinity, I don't eat. Amen. The rest I eat. Hallelujah. Even if you serve me, and I come down also in my bed, I will eat. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what I found out? Ah. Even our cookie balloon throws are eat already. Hallelujah. The babies are worshiping Pakhanba. Pakhanba means dragon. Ah. And then our cookie balloon, they cut in pieces and they will eat it. Amen. So even if you serve me, I'm not going to die or not. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you serve me Trinity, I will run away. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there is no Trinity in the Bible. Amen. That's the truth. And that's the whole truth, my friend. Amen. And the one who speaks to you the truth, you should appreciate him. Amen. Hallelujah. Forget about appreciating. I don't like that they work with me. <laughs> Forget about appreciating. I led it into my hometown. And my, my cousin brother, they ran away. Oh, he's the first. And then the entrance graduate from our village. Let's give you one chance of bricks. Because our village has 200 houses. At that time, three, four times they went, they don't give, they said, they after the pastor, oh, no, your brother is very dangerous, you know. <laughs> and he said, well, how come he doesn't have any gun? He has no entry. He said, he's very dangerous because he keep on preaching Jesus the baptism. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And after that, my brother said, is it Jesus the baptism in the Bible or not? He said, yes. Then why are you saying he's a bit dangerous then? <laughs> and then the pastor said, oh, don't worry, don't go, go, go. Hallelujah. Forget about the preceding. Now they go and put me. Ah, wherever I go. Amen. And then I said, why don't you invite me? Amen. Prove yourself. You are a true Christian by inviting Reverend B. Mante. Hallelujah. <laughs> and if you dare to invite him, you are a true Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. And at least now, I know that you believe in the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. I once said in Nagarat in 2014, exactly from the Bible, whatever I said, if you come across anything wrong, but in me and life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. To our Muki brothers in Nagarat, I said already. Amen. Kapu Kapate, that means our grandfather, grandmother, grandkid, everyone. Amen. If you come across anything wrong in my preaching, and even if it's against the Holy Bible, you don't bury me, kill it, but don't attack on that one. I like bury me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I like you, bury me. Don't let me go out from Nagaland. Amen. Praise the Lord. After three days of sermon, 35 people receive a baptism in Akibung Town in the name of Jesus Christ. Including one the retired reverend. After hearing my message at midnight, he was in tears. And at early dawn in the morning, he came and knocked my door. Pastor, oh, I heard the message yesterday what you preached, and now I want to get baptized. I was part of the assembly of God. The reason why I became a assembly of God is because the assembly of God practiced the New Testament way I thought. We practice only half truth. I mean, not the full one. We call ourselves a full gospel, but now I realize what we preach was only half gospel, not a full gospel. 
Now I want to be full. Amen. Hallelujah. I received into the Holy Spirit already. I've served the Lord for 30 years. But now I want to wash away my sins like the apostle did. Amen. Like the New Testament church did. Hallelujah. And he was in tears. He could not walk properly. And after when I baptized in Jesus' name, as soon as when he came out, when I pulled him out of the water, he started jumping and dancing before the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, my friend. Hallelujah. And therefore, I would like to humbly urge my brothers and sisters. I don't force anybody. Amen. Here in NCP, except even if he's Catholic, you're welcome. Amen. As long as you're a good human being, come, 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 no problem. Hallelujah. Because if you don't know how we don't know the truth, Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Because you may say, How will I know the truth unless someone explain to me? Amen. All your previous teachers and your Bible uh, professors or your church leader, previous one, they are good. I don't say they are bad. They are good in many ways. In the biblical ethics, they may be wonderful. Amen. In many other subjects, they are great. Hallelujah. But in this era of Amen. Biblical truth, they are wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in this area, they are wrong. Don't say that all the pastors are wrong in everything. No. In many doctrines, they are right. When they talk about holiness life, when they talk about Christian charity, Christian ethics, when they talk about loving the missionaries, supporting them, when they talk about uh, having the ethics, okay, cultural ethics, ministry ethics, okay, society ethics. Very good. Amen. Because they all the base in the Bible. I've come across many Parsi brothers who preach, speak very wonderful messages in terms of biblical ethics, in terms of ministerial ethics, how to have relationship with one another. They're good. Amen. The problem is, when it comes to this salvation kind of doctrine, they are wrong because they are forced to quote the Bible and read from the creed and read from the main doctrine, the nomination doctrine. They are not allowed to read from the Bible. And preach from the Bible. That's the reason why many those anointed preachers they cannot share with you the truth. Amen. I can share with you the truth because I have to fear nobody in this universe. I fear only one and only our Lord Jesus Christ. Because I am not a mission by any mission. Man made mission does not commission me anymore. Amen. I commission directly by the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Therefore, my friend, I don't have to fear anyone. I lose everything, but God gave me back everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I was supposed to be the first pastor in my hometown church, invited to be there as a professor in a Silver Bible College. I received invitations from different different organizations, Rabbi Zakir Ministry, to become the coordinator for the North East India and Shillong. I rejected that as well because even if we don't feel like they will reject me later on. Amen. Hallelujah! Why? Tell me why? Let me tell you this. If I don't reject, also they will reject me. Then they will come to know that I am a wondrous preacher. Amen. Then they will even come to know that I preach Jesus and baptism, I hate Trinity. They will kick me out again. Amen. And therefore, before others kick me out, I kick out myself. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't want people to kick me out. I want to go out myself. Hey. <laughs> Don't give me, I'll go by myself. That's a man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And therefore, I didn't accept the offer. Because I know Sunday that they will give me up. Because they believe in Roman Catholicism. Okay. What did I just say? Roman Catholicism doctrine. When it comes to Trinity, actually, Amen. They believe in Nicene Creed, not the Bible. That is the reason, my friend, with love. I resign myself, or I just left before they kick me out. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, today, we are not condemning anybody. Because Jesus said, I have not come to condemn, but to preach, to save them. Amen. Today, don't think I'm condemning anybody. Amen. I'm not condemning anybody in any church. All I'm saying is, according to the Bible way, if you want to be saved, if you want to clothe yourself with Christ, if you want to have eternity, you want to believe in Jesus, you are happy through the Holy Spirit, wonderful, hallelujah, great, amen. But one thing is lacking, my friend, be baptized. Wash away your sins in the name of Jesus Christ and remain faithful unto death, hallelujah. Amen. And be faithful unto death, stand for Jesus. 
And even if the whole world against you, if Jesus is with you, nobody can stop you from preaching the gospel. Nobody can stop you from growing. Hallelujah. See, I was boycotted from every corner, from every side, back and forth. Everybody has boycotted me. But still I'm preaching. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Every year it is 50 to 60, sometimes 40, sometimes 30, sometimes 100. Every year people receive that visit in my hand. Amen. Every year it's be graduate, 20 to 30 students, including correspondent. And every time I'm preaching God's word, nobody can stop me from preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ as long as I follow my Lord and my God Jesus Christ. Amen. So don't worry about what the world says. Examine yourself whether what you preach and did is in accordance, in accordance with the Holy Bible or not. Look this one. Amen. And serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him. Amen. Before His presence with rejoicing. Hallelujah. Serve the Lord with gladness, and God will send for you. Amen. My big line is this: stand for the truth, and the truth will stand for you. You don't need the world to stand for you. You need first and foremost the truth, the Lord Jesus to stand for you. Amen. And nobody can, Amen, stop you from growing, and nobody can make you small if God is in your sights. Hallelujah. At the same time, my dear brothers and sisters, I'm so thankful to all of you for your love and attention for your support. God bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. And for those who want to know more in details, you're most welcome to uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's uh, ABTS Supposed to Be Voice. Uh, you can type my name, full name, it will come out on the YouTube. You can also see there in different languages, including in the Kuki, Mizo, and English. Uh, there are many topics that we share, and uh, and we are planning that God's willing that from next week onward, every week at least one official recording will be done here, not in the, this place, maybe some other like studio type, where it will be a very high quality, high quality of video, high quality, and it will be released in every amen week. It will, it will have a, a topic, a biblical discussions. Uh, sometimes somebody will ask me a question, I will explain. Or sometimes I will simply preach in that one topic, or I will do the Bible study with, uh, you know, uh, and that will be uploaded in the YouTube so that people can have, can have more access uh, to the biblical law. Amen. So we all stand by prayer. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. All of Jesus, hallelujah. What a great and awesome God. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for your support. We are so humble because of you. Amen. It has given us a great rest and serving.
God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. A life is uncertain. This is a human life. We don't know when this will come to an end. We don't know when this life will immediately come to an end. No one knows. It's absolutely imminent. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us say Amen today. Amen. It's a day that God has chosen for me. I will. I will give my life to Christ. I will live my life not in accordance with the world of Jesus. I will live my life for Jesus. Amen. Whatever He commands me, I will do. I dedicate my life to Him. And if you truly dedicate, my friend, we are happy to assist you. We have no problem walking even the hundred miles with you. If you want to see the baptism, we are always ready to improvise seven. And we are happy to assist you in all other things. God bless you. Say good to God and Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy of this one for us. We thank you for the word of God you start to us. We thank you for the revelation you've given unto us, Father. And we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you bless all my beloved brothers and sisters, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All be glorified in each and every one of them. So the Lord gets in every one of us. We will stand firm. We'll stand firm in the doctrines in the gospel of the Lord Jesus. So the Lord of all can know, the world will surely know that you are the King of Kings that you are God, Lord Almighty, that you are the one for God, that you are our Father in that in heaven. We pray the Lord you open our hearts and minds and bless and use all your children who are attending this uh, service today. And thank you for Lord, hallelujah, amen, speaking to us through your servant, even though I am unworthy, Lord, thank you for using me again. We thank you, Lord, and pray for his brothers and sisters that even in the days to come, that you would be with them and bless them and bring them back safely for the next Sunday service as well. And throughout the day, we are present with them and save them from all kinds of enemies, from all kinds of the darkness, from all kinds of viruses, from all kinds of the invisible and evil forces. So the Lord will be always, Amen. Uh, hallelujah, Amen. Covered by the blood of Jesus, and they will always have the victory 
over their enemies and set them free from all kinds of sickness, from all kinds of problems, from all kinds of difficulties in their life. Yes. And let them fill with happiness right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Even if they have any problem, heal them in the name of Jesus. Right now, right here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you and with thanksgiving we submitted all this thing to mighty hand in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.